Patreon back again with yet another box opening video. This one is from. Yes, you've guessed it. Brewdog. Brewdog beers. Eh, uh, tried just about quite a lot of them actually. I've tried, but recently signed up for Bottle Box. Uh, the bottle box, love your bottle box. All the brew dog literature on it. But this is the one for Equity for Punks. Uh, this one's not available unless you are a shareholder. Uh, so, this is a bi monthly box. You get it every two months, 12 beers every two months. Six of them guaranteed to, to be brew dog and six to be from. Guess breweries that they're stocking in their shops, but they reckon it's a uh, good value for the money. So we'll get it opened up and we'll see what they've sent me in my very first bottle box. So let's see, let's start off with, and it's a beer from Galway Bay Brewery. No, it's not, it's Whiplash. Gravity Rainbow, double IPA in co collaboration with Galway Bay Brewery and it's a double IPA hitting in at a solid in 9 and a Richter scale like nice artwork on that very very nice, I've never even heard of that uh, what else have we got now? I'll do all the non Brewdog beers first Next one we have from Siren Craft Brewery and it's Hard Rolling India Pale Ale and that's coming in at to be honest with you I don't see where it's coming in at but it'll be on there somewhere Hard Rolling I still don't see how strong it is might be on the back your eyesight might be able to pick it up Next one is from the White Hag Irish Brewing Company. I actually seen, uh, I think it was Clueless Drinker, Peter, he actually uh, reviewed or he was drinking it in Dublin, his trip to Dublin recently. And this is the Pucker Dried Hopped Lemon Sour. And that's weighing in at 3.5 on a Richter scale for that. Unusual, quite a nice we can. The next one, what have we got? Next one it is not tried anything from this stable at all. It's a cloud water and it's an amber enigma. 4.8 on a Richter scale for that. I've seen a lot of people out there reviewing this style cloud water beers and raving about them. I've never ever had a chance at them. To be honest, get in again, another big can. I haven't a clue what this is. <laughs> oh. Right. Answers in a postcard for this one. Anyone know? What, what? Surely that isn't the name of the beer. But then again, you never know. Uh, I don't know where this is coming from. Uh, YOLO and there, well, it's an imperial salty milk stout brewed with caviar and champagne yeast and that is what what is that? what strength is that? I haven't a clue but it's a Belgian beer that's all I'm getting with that a pint can as well. It says it on the side there. Pint can. Come on, what's what's the Richter? My goodness. If I'm seeing that right, 14%. I'm nearly sure that says 14% there. That's a hefty smash that, eh? Pint can, 14%. Wow. <laughs> Next one, non brew dog beer. And it is from the 
Is it the Fierce Brewery? And it's Imperial Chocolate Stout. 12% 12 the Richter scale. I don't know if that's a con. Collab beer. Let's get a brew dog. Uh, wait a minute. Do, 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 do. Yeah, result of an annual collaboration between Fierce Beer and Brew Dog Aberdeen flagship bar. This is a combination we really wanted. There you go. Very big mousse. Imperial chocolate stout. That sounds divine, eh? 12, 12 and a Richter for that. Now, it's all beer dog, brew dog beers that's left. Some I have tried before. But two I'm quite happy at getting because I haven't seen the first one, the brew dog 5am scent in cans. I haven't seen that in the supermarkets yet. I'm a big fan of this beer. Looking forward to trying that. And this one as well, I'm a fan of this as well, but I haven't get, got the chance to try it in the can. And it's a Jet Black Heart. Vanilla Milk Stout. And that's 4.7 for that. And of course the 5 a.m. cents, 5%. Everyone knows that. Next. Oh, wow. <laughs> Another corker. And uh, I've got a couple of these aging already. And this one, it is Brewdog Tokyo. Into Galactic Stout 16.5 on a Richter scale for that. It's another one to stick away. I've got two of them away for the last almost four years. So one of them's getting opened in a five year term. So looking forward to that. Uh huh, well, it must be Christmas, eh? Christmas, I haven't tried this. And it's Brewdog Santa Paws. Christmas Scotch Ale, 4.5% uh, run a Richter for that. And another small brew dog one, and it's another Christmas beer. And it's a festive IPA, the Hoppy Christmas, which is 7.2% run a Richter. I've not tried any of the brew dog Christmas beers, so I need to get my act together. And it's actually a nice temperature to drink just now. And my last one, it's another Brewdog beer, and it's Brewdog Make Earth Great Again, 7.5%, I've not even heard of that, for a 660 bomber, um, the rating is far, far, <laughs> far, far too small for me to read. To be honest, even with my furniture on, nice artwork on the bottle. Well, anyway, that is my equity for punks bi monthly uh, 12 can deal, uh, 12 can, 12 beer deal from Brewdog. As I say, got this now, November, my next one will be in January. Uh, quite happy with what I've been sent, to be honest with you, there's a few crackers in there. So, anyway, hopefully, Sophie King Drunk will catch you in a bi monthly Brewdog. Uh, review or two Slangy Var, keep drinking the good craft beers Ciao for now